Can we talk about something serious for a second? I am 27 years old now. I have a full-time job. I worked really hard to get here. I have a college degree, everything like that. I'm financially responsible. And in one month, I'm gonna have to move out of my apartment because I can no longer afford it. A TikTok video by creator Kimberly Marie highlights the growing destruction of rent increases across the US. To be really transparent, I live in Florida and I pay about twelve to thirteen hundred dollars a month for my apartment, not including utilities, like all that good stuff. I got my rent renewal offer last month. They raised the rent nine hundred dollars for my apartment. It is not even a thousand square feet. It is like eight hundred. And honestly, I'm fine. I'm moving back in with my parents, but what about the people who don't have family here? Unfortunately, her story isn't unique. I know many of you have seen headlines or have experienced this unprecedented surge in rent, with some renters seeing increases upwards of 100%. Nationally, some cities have seen an average of 40% increases to their rent. And with only five states in the US with rent controls, that average will only get higher. Many national news outlets have reported that this is a result of inflation, that the supply is low, meaning higher costs because there's so much demand. That is a bold-faced lie. Don't believe it. Here's the truth. We're seeing massive influxes in rent because private investors and corporations are buying up homes and turning them into rental properties and then prowse garaging on rent. Pair that with a lack of government oversight and rent controls or caps, and we're heading straight to another housing crash worse than 2008. There are 44.1 million Americans that are renters, 8.1 million of which rent their homes, which wouldn't be a shocking figure until you find out that in over two thirds of the US housing market, which is 66%, owning is cheaper than renting. The New York Times reports that various studies have found that corporate landlords are more likely to raise rent, evict their tenants, and poorly maintain their properties than smaller landlords. One by the Department of Housing and Urban Development in 2018 found that large corporate owners in Atlanta were 68% more likely than smaller owners to file eviction notices. And that's not even the icing on this crap cake. According to the census data, there are 16 million vacant homes and apartment complexes in the US, which would seem like an easy fix to a lot of the problems in a housing crisis, but it's far more complicated than that. Listen, y'all, I'm no expert when it comes to figuring out the mess of housing in America. What I do know is that I've lived in a broken system my entire life. I understand what it means to be housing insecure. My family and I required government assistance through Section 8, and there were many times we were left homeless because it was so difficult to secure housing on a government voucher. What I do know is that there are solutions to this crisis. The Roosevelt Institute proposes that funding a major increase in the supply of affordable housing, especially social housing, alleviates supply constraints that have been at the center of increasing rents for decades. And by extension, working with municipalities to adopt new forms of zoning regulations that can enable the increase in supply of affordable housing. And by pursuing rent stabilization policies like rent control to curb future price hikes and rent profiteering. I think this is a viable start to confronting the housing crisis, but I think we need to go a step further. The American housing crisis operates exactly like it's supposed to. This is capitalism, and we know our government serves it well. I think it's foolish to solely rely on government to positively change things for us when they've shown time and time again that they won't. I think more people should strive to form tenant associations. They operate similar to unions and that tenants use their collective power to negotiate with their landlords. So how do you all feel about the current housing and rent crisis? Have you all seen any good solutions to this complicated problem? Let me know in the comment section below. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe.